Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today's session I am going to discuss about uh, the interrupt enabled register. So this interrupt enabled register is a one port of 8051 microcontroller. So this register simply called as IE. So IE represents for interrupt enabled register. What is the main role of this IE register? This IE register is mainly used to enable or disable the different type of interrupts. Already you know in 8051 microcontroller we have a six type of interrupts. In this six type of interrupts, two interrupts represent four external hardware interrupts and three interrupts represent four the enable the timer one, timer two and timer zero interrupts. And ES is represent for enable the serial port interrupt. Bit number six is undefined bit. This bit is used for the future purpose. And bit number seven is E. So EA represent for enable all the interrupts. If you want to enable any one of the interrupts, first you should enable the bit number seven E. So this E value equal to one. Else E equal to zero. It indicate all the interrupts. It should be clear. Suppose in this six interrupt, if you want to enable any one of the interrupt, that bit set to be one. So this bit is one means the corresponding interrupt is enabled. Suppose the, this bit goes to zero, the corresponding interrupt is disabled. So likewise, you set or reset based on one or zero. So based on this value, the microcontroller is recognized to enable or disabling the interrupts. So this is the basic operation. So how you enable or disable the interrupts using the instructions. Here I am taking the three examples. The first example, enable external hardware interrupt 0, enable the timer 1 interrupt, enable the serial port interrupts. The first example says only enabling the, these three interrupts. So first you should enable the EA value. So EA value set to be 1, then EX0. So EX0, external hardware interrupt set to be 1, ET1, so bit number 3. It, set to be 1 and ES. Bit number 4 is set to be 1. So this is the 8 bit value. So based on this 8 bit value only the microcontroller is turn on the interrupt or turn off the interrupts. So first you write the 8 bit value for this ID. So 7th bit set to be 1, 6th bit 0 and 5th bit 0, 4th bit 1, 3rd bit 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the 8 bit value. So now we frame the instruction to enable in the 3 interrupts. The instruction is move IE, then you write this 8 bit number in immediate values 1001, 1001. So this B is represent for B. So in this instruction, I am posing the immediate value in bit by is not a hexadecimal values. So after execution of this instruction, this immediate value is transferred to IE register. So now IE register value 1001, 1001. So based on this bit value, the corresponding interface enable or disable. After execution of this instruction, enabling the EX0, ED1 and ES. These three interrupts of enable. Next we go to the second example, disable ET1. So in this example only we are disabling the timer 1 interrupts. So you can write the instruction CL over IE dot, just you mention the bit. So bit of ET1, ET1 bit is 3, so IE dot 3, so IE is a IE register. In this register only clearing the third bit value. So after execution of this instruction, the third bit value goes to 0, just clearing the 81. So timer 1 interrupts. Then third example, disable all the interrupts. So you write only one command to clearing all the interrupts. So CL or IE dot 7. So IE is a register. In this IE register only we focus on 7th bit. So this 7th bit alone clear. So 7th bit value now goes to 0. So after execution of this instruction, all the bits 
goes to zero just clearing all the entrants so this is the basic function to clear or enabling the register by using the instruction i hope you understand the concept very well if you are watching first time in my video kindly subscribe and support us thank you